cracking day here today in Nagasaki. They said the rainy season was over, but I suppose it's better than the baking heat of August, maybe. <laughs> uh, I did a video the other day about uh, publishing on Amazon KDP as opposed to traditional publishing, as I called it. And I thought I'd uh, just do a bit more detailed account of how I got signed to a major publisher uh, 10, 10 or more years ago now, um, which was HarperCollins. But they were HarperCollins, but they imprint of HarperCollins called the Friday Project. So I was living in Japan for about a year, uh, 2006, 2007. And when I came back to the UK, I had basically an A to Z guide to Japan, which at the time I was calling the Cat's Nipples. I thought it was a catchy title because it related to shamisen, the Japanese instrument being the best shamisen being made out of cat fur. And you can see the Cat's Nipples on the front of the shamisen. So, yeah, it wasn't a good title. But I thought it was anyway. So I had this manuscript A to Z guide, uh, written in a sort of more light-hearted manner than many of these ma many of these books I've read, and I shopped it round to loads of lit literary agents, publishers, and that just got rejected. One almost took a literary agent almost took it on, till they said the market was oversubscribed with that sort of book. Um, and then, uh, in this, well, it was the last sort of thing. I, I I gave it to a friend of mine, a um, well, my friend's wife, who's uh, a published uh, published author and uh, I won't give a name but she's kind of famous and she got it directly to this contact of hers in HarperCollins and the Friday Project which is the imprint one of the imprints of HarperCollins although at the time actually our Friday Project belonged to Macmillan the publishers so uh, and this guy took it straight on he sent me an email um, he said, well, well, yeah, I, I really want to publish this. He was all up for it. Um, the thing is, he said, you won't get in advance. He said, I remember the email. He said, before you start dancing in circles, um, you won't get in advance. We don't give advances. Um, but anyway, yeah, I went up to London, went to the office, and I met him, met the team. Uh, I was getting proofs of it. And they said, from the time being accepted to the time it would be released would actually take a year because there was like a queue of books. And then they accepted another book of mine, From Lee to Lee, Bruce Lee to Jet Lee, the surnames L-E-E -E and L-I, which is a sort of aid set of famous martial arts throughout history. So I had two books lined up to be published. And then uh, the Friday Project went bust. <laughs> Typical my luck. Uh, not, not so funny as a load of authors got axed. So, somehow I survived the cull because they got taken over by HarperCollins. And Harpcon said, I will keep these two books on both my books. So it got set, it set back by another year. So eventually, the running order, it got reversed. So Lee to Lee was the first book out. That was 2009, April, followed by a guidance guide, which was May. Um, so yeah, you sign a contract, uh, proofs are sent to you, you get it proofread, you get it um, copy edited. Uh, yeah, you get designs, I had uh, manga illustrations in both my books. Uh, an artist was contracted to do that. Um, they send books out to review to reviewers. They know they ask you if you know anyone, and you just give them the address, and they just they send books out. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect your royalties. Um, and the, the day it's published, you get a by courier. This is back. This is back when it was just paperbacks or hardbacks. There wasn't any Kindles, uh, but you get you get a box of books. I got a box of books. You get twenty copies. Uh, so I mean, at the time I was totally made up. I was like, we I'm a published author. Um, and I sort of said that it was more by HarperCollins than the Friday Project. <laughs> if people asked, he published it. Um, but I was, you only directly get published by HarperCollins, I think, if you're a real like big week. I think the guy does Game of Thrones is that. But normally there's quite there's a few imprints. Um, so that was that. And then they, when Kindle started happening, they they put that out. They did both my books on on Kindle. Um, and then I started to get into Kindle myself and I started self-publishing, which I don't think they liked. They, they, they refused my third book after being very enthusiastic, which was a novel called Big Sound Temple. Eventually, well, I had to chase them up for them to even say, oh, no, we, we've turned it down because I waited six months from them saying, oh, this is great. You know, send us the whole manuscript and then nothing happening for six months. So I'd heard about Amazon Kindle and I, you know, I, I just uploaded this book and I was like, wow, I can just do it all by myself. A friend of mine did the cover. Um, 
anyway and but i don't think and then i, I started to release more stuff and that they had been on at me the publishers to write an account of my time here working at the temple buddhist temple in japan you know kind of not a bit out of the ordinary for an english guy and uh I did do that, but I released it myself because I thought, well, I don't have to wait months and months, you know, and up to a year or two years as it was before for um, for my stuff to be released. I can just, I write it, show it to a few people I know who can check it over if they can, got time, and then I just release it. So that's what I did. And ever since then, <laughs> the publishers, they just not replied to any emails I've sent them. I've sent them a few about certain matters. Uh, oh, they were sending my royalties, uh, royalties, because like every six months you get um, royalties, twice a year. I mean, they just pay directly into my bank. Um, but they were sending the royalty statements to my parents' old address when my parents moved. So I was sending them emails about this for a couple of years, and they kept going to the wrong address, and then suddenly they went to the right address. So they obviously got these things. And there's a few other matters, but they just didn't reply to me. You know, it's it's a bit of an arsey world, that publishing thing. There's a lot of egos and stuff i was i didn't you know i was contacts with a few of these jimmies that re representing the company on social media facebook and twitter and that and i actually ended up just didn't you know the ego the ego some of them have it's not i didn't like it anyway but yeah i'm just quite happy doing it by myself now on um amazon kindle which i've done the other video of and they're really great so yeah once i got past it where am i published author Thing, it was um i found out it's actually better just do it myself on amazon kindle like i say and i've released loads of stuff through them and by and large it's been pretty good maybe i'll do another video about focusing more on that but anyway that was just a quick video about uh being a published author for harper collins cheers